don't be an internet dummy. Find other ways to express yourself. Read a book, count your money. <laughs> no one should ever be bored. But I get that a lot, I was bored, I was bored. But I also understand the psychology of the adolescent mind, so I do give my students a lot of credit for the mistakes that they make. There is a science behind the psychology of the adolescent mind. Between the ages of 10 to 24, the adolescent mind is under construction similar to that of a kitchen being remodeled. So if your kitchen is being remodeled, do you have full functionality of that kitchen? No. No, right? And that's, that's scientific fact. So I get that. So a lot of mistakes that my students make, we can chalk it up. It's all good. No big deal. I might snap real quick. Three seconds, let me snap. Let me go off. And then we can move on because it's a learning experience. But you guys, the few of you in this room right now, know the difference. So any mistake you make after today was a choice. You chose to do that. And that's OK, too, but you have to live with that. And if you find a need to say mean stuff, remember you've been told your reputation is way too important. It could catch up with you when you get old. Hmm? All right, meet opportunities, knocking at the door one day. Don't be surprised if they find, observe your brand to be different as you All right. So I do have some students that all they talk about, you know, are positive things or, you know, whatever the case may be. And I'm not saying everybody got to be positive. Because I'm not always my best self. But again, it's different between what I say in the car ride home and what I put on the internet. And you've got to make that distinction. That's what's important. I'm sorry, I got, I got Yes. Are you a lot of the um, Nifty Tappers? Yeah, I teach the Nifty curriculum. I'm one of the writers for the Nifty textbook. I was a part of the Nifty Tappers. Yeah. Um, the summer of 8th grade, we had a Nifty Tappers class. And I was part of that. And I was part of that. What's you at Ariel? No, it was at Oh, yeah, what school? It was at uh, St. Michael. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Sunshine Project was, no. It was a college. Michael um, Lebescu. Yeah. Yep, that's my guy. Yep, Language for Scholars. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right, anybody tweeting any more about BLA? So if you have access to Twitter, let me, let's tweet your thoughts. I changed my mind. You changed your mind about what? I said I changed my name. Oh. <coughs> Sitting next to Brian and McLovin. <laughs> How did you do that? Oh, they finally <laughs> opened it up. That's good. Okay, so we started off with a discussion about Twitter and social media. What are now? New thoughts. Like, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Is it a big deal? Am I making too much of this? Yes and no. Okay, let's deal with the yes and no. Uh, yes, because it, it shows that you care that other people are doing what's supposed to be actually try to help them. But no, because if they do something and they know they're doing it, like saying, if they know they're in their sentence and they know they're doing it, then there's nothing you can do about that because they've done it and they had control of it over their body, so they can stop it. So, in one breath, you're saying, I'm doing too much by even having this conversation because it's, it's petty. It's no big deal. And I get that. But at the same time, it's kind of a big deal. Anybody agree or disagree? Is this petty?